flow. Um. 
Is Lolly here? Yes, that's me. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, see, I, I wasn't I wasn't reading the names right. Hey, 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 good to see you again. Hey, yeah. thanks for having me out today. Okay, sorry I'm late, Lolly. No uh, worries. Um, let's just dive right in. This is a uh, Watch Me Work. We do this uh, almost every Monday. And uh, I'm SLP, and we've been doing this for like 12 years. Um, first, we started in the lobby of the public theater. So we give thanks to the public theater for sponsoring us and also to HowlRound for helping us out, especially with this live stream um, that really got off uh, up and running in a great way during uh, the lockdown. And we're, we're doing it still um, most Mondays at five where you can talk to me about your creative process while we don't have time for you to actually read or present any of your work, we do have plenty of time for you to uh, ask me questions about your creative process. So what we do is we work for 20 minutes together and then we ask questions. And Lolly is gonna tell us what to do if you have a question while I get my timer. Go ahead, Lolly. Yep, <laughs> sounds good. So if you're in the Zoom room with us, um, you can ask questions by clicking the raise your hand button, which should be um, in the participants tab, likely on the bottom of your screen. If you have trouble finding it, you can private chat me and I can help you out there. Um, and then if you're watching the stream on HowlRound and you have questions, feel free to send us questions via the Public Theater Twitter or Instagram account or via Watch Me Work's Twitter account, which is at Watch Me Work SLP with the hashtag HowlRound. That's hashtag H-O-W-L-R-O-U-N-D. So those are the two ways that you can ask questions. Again, if you have any technical difficulties, just private chat me and I can help you work those out. All right, Lolly, thank you. That's fantastic. Um, we are going to go into the work session, the uh, and then we'll go in the action session, as we call it, and then we'll go into the dialogue session. So let's do 20 minutes. Here we go. And boom.
All right, that's my timer going off, everybody. Um, so that's our 20 minutes. <laughs> um, so now uh, we can open the floor for questions and for discussion. Um, so if anybody has a question, just use the raise your hand function and I will ask you to unmute yourself. There you go. Oh. <laughs> what happened? I got so into the work. I was like, oh dear. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now we're here for the questions. Let me put away my work and turn my brain on to yours. So if people have questions, let's talk. Totally. Anybody? Oh, okay. It looks like we do have a question. Someone's okay. having trouble finding the raise hand, but uh, Shelly, I will ask you to unmute yourself now. Hey, Shelly. Hi, thank you so much for doing this. Sure. It is a, such a huge, you know what a huge gift it is, but. I've, I've never written and I've never thought of myself as a writer and I don't think of myself as a writer now, but I am writing with such delight. It's oh. giving me such joy oh, to goody. write these, these things. I've got about 40 pages already and I'm wow. amazed. My question, Congratulations. I, it's thank you. And you started it. It's oh. all your fault. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, and actually a friend, my friend who told me about this workshop, it's her fault mostly. Um, uh, the question that I have is, at, as you're writing, I, I'm, I just, I don't have, I don't have training as a writer. Mm -hmm. And I found myself, I was talking about the Himalaya mountains mm -hmm. and I must've used magnificent 14 times. And I thought, just keep writing, just keep writing. And now I'm going back to try to refine and repeat. It, my question is a very technical thing. When you are working, is it best to just plow through with an idea or should you stop in the moment and reconfigure and re and, and fix things, hone things, make them better? Mm -hmm. It's great, Shelley. I mean, congratulations. Without your training, I think you, uh, without your training, I think you're getting your training from uh, the doing of it, which is, I okay. think, one of the best ways to get training in anything by doing it and i think you've hit upon exactly what you should be doing which i would have suggested when you're writing write and then when you're rewriting rewrite so we don't worry i don't you know if you use the word magnificent 125 million times doesn't matter and hopefully you've gotten to a the end place with what you're working on well i've just got of, of the chapter of this chapter um, okay i then i would suggest i would suggest shelly that you keep writing and put a you know i mean if you want to print it out and give yourself a post-it and say find another or another word other than magnificent if you know and keep writing forward because i think um you're in the flow of writing and i think um my feeling is fix you know find a better word later okay. that's what i would suggest keep going keep going you know thank you so much and this, this is just it, it's a little check-in a weekly check-in mm -hmm. how did i do this week some weeks are better some weeks are not as good mm -hmm. depends on what's going on in life but mm -hmm. i'm loving it thank you oh great thank that's you the, so that's much. the idea thank you thanks for thank coming you, up Shelley. Yeah, Shelley. <laughs> um we have timothy next yeah timothy Hey, Matt. Hey, how are you? I'm well, happy to see you. Yeah, back at you. Thanks uh, as always for doing this. Mm -hmm. um, I had a question. Um, I've um, been working on a lot of projects since the beginning of the year mm -hmm. and they're all at kind of, um, kind of a put it down point. Mm -hmm. So I'm kind of between projects. Mm -hmm. And I was wondering, is there, what do you do in acting? They talk about like, you know, keeping your instrument open. Mm -hmm. And um, and I'm wondering what, if anything, you can do um, to keep yourself open for, like, you know, to keep your writing instrument open so that, you know, 
uh -huh. when the idea hits you, you'll you'll you won't pass it by. I guess is the right, best right, way right. to put it. Great question. Great question. Thanks. Um, yeah. So you said put a down point, meaning you reached uh, the end point, or a, a kind of. Yeah, I mean, it's um, kind of at a, it's it's at another stage. Um, you know, it's you know they're they're all either plays or screenplays and. You know they're ready for actors. They've been uh, a couple okay. have been rewrites. A couple have been um, one has been new. Um, but I, you know, again, it's at the point where like I need I would like to hear it now. So I'll I'll uh -huh. round up some actor uh -huh. friends of mine and we'll oh, nice. we'll kick we'll kick it around. Uh -huh. um, but you know they're also sort of for the most part they're versions of things I've already been working on, and I'm kind of got the hanker into write something new, you know, uh -huh. like a, like, like a new story. Uh-huh. Well, know? that's cool. Well, that you should to, see as opposed that. to hacking out at all the other, you know, uh -huh. just like, I can make this story better. I can yeah, make this yeah. Story. but that's a great, you know, that's a great moment, Timothy. I mean, it's mm -hmm. like, it's like you kind of graduated and I mean, that's how you keep your instrument open. You could write something new, you know, you yeah. could, um, and I, I don't know, is that a piano in the back of you or is that my imagination? It is. No, it's not. It's not your imagination. It's, <laughs> um, it's a piano. It's actually a really nice picture holder. Um, but um, uh, it, it's, it's not, uh -huh. nobody's yeah. played it. In, nobody's played it in ages, but. Oh, okay. Okay. Cause I yeah. thought, you know, that that's another way of keeping your, your instrument open. You can, um, work out work out on your other you know in your other skill in your other areas mm -hmm. of skill like if you play music you could you know work on some of your songwriting or you could you know so you could kind of do your cross training like that journaling is a good way to keep your instrument open but also you said you wanted to write something new so i would say start writing something new that's so exciting <laughs> you know, i mean is that does that make sense or is that is that just a weird it, thing? it does i i guess i've always been sort of you know, your, your projects pick you, you don't necessarily pick them. Mm -hmm. And um, so I'm just sort of, you know, I'd, I'd just like to be open to the process. And I was one, you know, uh -huh. well, I mean, journaling any... is also, yeah. you know, I mean, yeah, Julia journal. Cameron talks about, you know, the, the daily pages or the morning pages. And if you, you know, you've been doing those, you know, mm -hmm. you might find something that, that is grabbing at you as you, or just saying, I have time now, I can start something new, what project might grab me, um, mm. you know, and just, in, and, and really uh, also reading, you know, mm -hmm. enjoying going on a little mental vacation, but it's really a time of celebration. If you've gotten across the finish line with several different projects, you know, it's time for like, woohoo, take, <laughs> take a victory lap. <laughs> Tell I'll take the that. victory lap. I'm not sure it's, you know, I, I had a teacher who said projects are never finished. They're just abandoned. But, um, you know, uh, but we'll see. I mean, I'm, I am I am happy with where, where these other things are. Yeah. So I don't but, know, you know. Abandoned. I, don't, I abandoned. So I, I've heard that phrase before and I finish things. <laughs> I mean, ta-da, done. The book is published. You know, I'm good. I'm on to the next thing. I, I really believe in the catch and release method. Uh, the spirit sends it to you, you catch it, you do your best with it, and then you let it go so that something else can come. And if I'm holding on to something, I can't quite receive that next thing. So I tend to just, I'm, I'm good. We're on to the next thing. Um, you know, I believe in, in, in celebrating when you, well, at, at, at many points, but, but good mm -hmm. on you, man. Good on you. And just, and just enjoy this time of just, you know, uh, where you're waiting for the project to, to give you a call, you know, cool. but good, okay. for you. good for you. I will do that. Thank okay. you so Thank much. You. Thank you. Thank you, Timothy. Me. Thanks everyone. <laughs> okay. We have, um, Gerald next. I hope I'm saying that right. Yes. Hey, Gerald. Hi. 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 Good to see you. Um, so much gratitude to you and the community. This may seem so obvious, but I'm really grappling with it. I'm ready to play and um, I'm using letters from or emails that I've received from different people. Mm -hmm. And I want to know how much 
do I have to, some of the verbiage, I think is just so specific to the characters. I uh -huh. mean, I'm using different names of the characters, right? but some of their, the way they speak is so um, indicative of who they are, uh -huh. you know, who I want them to be. How much do I need to change these letters? They're just, there's like, you know, an email with, let's say six lines uh -huh. of dialogue. Can I, how, how different from the actual email does it have to be? Mm, uh, that's true. That is tricky. Cause that's like an actual letter that someone wrote you who I'm guessing is still living. Yes. And you probably, I don't know. Do you have the, do you, have you negotiated the rights? You know, that's their writing. I don't know. Uh, I, I don't know. I don't know how sticky that is. So okay. Well, maybe uh, maybe I would say if either you negotiate and you 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 secure the rights to use their written material. Uh, or or <laughs> you use the email as a springing off point to create a fictional character and have the content be kind of the, the core of it and then bounce off and write your own version of that email. Yeah, the latter sounds so much better because I also want to be respectful. Yeah, people. yeah, yeah, yeah. So I would, yeah, do, yeah, use their work as your springboard for your own. Yeah. Also, okay. Yeah. That's what, what, what do you do when you, or when you doubt your, when you, you start to doubt yourself? What when do you, you don't, you lose trust. <laughs> when you, you stop trusting that, um that you're you're on the right path or that you you're doing the right you know that your writing is is what it should be or you know that you're telling the way the story that you want to tell that you when you lose i i lose trust in myself that i stop thinking that you know there's like the inner demons come in and they tell me, you know, you don't know what you're doing or um, I know, is that a crazy question? You know, that they, mm -hmm. you know, all this inner doubt comes in. Mm -hmm. No, I hear you. I hear you. Um, I think um, you can ground yourself by doing different things, by spending more time with the work, uh -huh. by uh you know listening to it, i mean it's it's like um maybe the inner demons are helpful in trying to you know make sure that you what don't get out of your lane as a however you are more comfortable defining yourself <laughs> I'm, I'm, it's a, you know i i i really think though that you can sort of help yourself stay in your writing track with things like affirmations with things like showing up every day and working regardless with things like shortening the amount of time that you work every day. So if you work for an hour and you're really battling demons every moment of that hour, cut the time down to 30 minutes. If you're, you know, then you'll at least only be battling the demons for 30 minutes. And if you're still battling demons for 30 minutes and that's exhausting, cut the time down to 15 minutes. You see what I mean? Or five minutes or three minutes or 90 seconds. If you work for 90 seconds, five times a day at least you're developing the ability you know to uh to counter the demons negative voices do you know what i mean so you have to when you know when to create if you have a lot of uh, oppositions you have to think of a lot of solutions do you know what i mean yeah you know? so if you have negative voices you think of like uh, you think okay so i'll work for a minute and a half every hour you wow. know yeah so i'll just put a little bit of time in then i'll spend the rest of the time reading a book or doing something that you know i'll write affirmations i'll call a good friend i'll read a book that i love i'll stop watching so much tv maybe a lot of our a lot of uh, negativity comes from uh unfortunately hate to say it but comes from uh uh, online shit, okay. news, information, you know, just, just cut down, cut it down, eating sugar, 
<laughs> drinking soft drinks, uh, Facebook, uh, you know, not to demonize, you know what I'm saying? Just compare and despair. A lot of look at what she's doing. Look at what they're doing. Look at what they just bought. Look, they're on vacation. They're not doing anything. Wow. I wish I could do nothing. You know, I mean, it's just, it's just an incessant stream of shit that comes your way when you are online. (laughs) So if you're online a lot, you might want to look at that. You know what I mean? Surrounding yourself with more positive people. If you notice, gee, every time I talk to X, Y, Z, I feel shitty. That's in the, yeah. Hmm. Okay. Okay. It's very okay. powerful. Thank so, you. Yeah. Yeah. We got to talk about these things because otherwise we just think it's all, it's all you and you're, you know, and maybe you just need to take more mood stabilizers. Guess what? I <laughs> know. <laughs> right. You're right. Just take another pill, everybody. Just take another pill. Yeah. Mm-mm powerful yeah. yeah okay so just and yeah. and come check in here you know yes. you know but it's there's some there's a lot of shit flying around out there yeah. and really between ukraine and what the supreme court uh. is doing and let's get real people there's some shit flying around a lot of shit and the, as long as we pretend like it's okay and let's just talk about the fact that kim kardashian or marilyn monroe's dress to the met gala and she has a lock of marilyn monroe's hair what right yeah what's going on yeah Mm -hmm. so you know not that those all those things are happening but we just need to be very clear that they're not designed to make us feel good and productive and grounded and solid yeah so Mm -hmm. there was my soapbox (laughs) Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. And thanks for that question, Daryl. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, we have Richard next on deck. Hi, Richard. Hi, Richard. Unmute. Unmute. Am I muted? No, Am I, I here? You. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Great. Well, I don't know. For two years now, almost every session, I was fighting you about outlining. Mm-hmm. Maybe I had a traumatic thing in seventh grade or something about doing num- Roman numeral Roman. one, capital A. Little, but it so helped me doing just not writing, but just doing the outlining because mm-hmm. the outlining brought up a lot of stuff and it showed a lot of problems but not bad problems it's just it would needs it needs to move it forward mm-hmm. so this question i've been wanting to ask you for two years now oh. no it's it's just simple and i understand there are different methods but do you have a textbook that you love about screenwriting mm-hmm. um i you know totally I watch movies and since I've been since I've been watching movies, this extraordinary thing has been happening. It's really changed the way since I've been writing it, it changes the way I watch movies. Oh great. Yeah. So do you do you just simple have a textbook well, textbooks that you love? I think there are many great ones. Off the top of my head, I cannot think of the names of them. But um, but what I do know is that they're not any, uh, the ones I like aren't any like specialty esoteric, you know, hard to find textbooks. Um, they're the basic ones. Um, um, uh, let me see if I can think of the names off the top of my head. Uh, and you guys maybe can correct me. Screen is one called Screenplay by somebody, I forget. The McKay name. or something. McKay, yes. Or, uh, yeah. I mean, they're the popular ones. The good ones, you know, I, I find are the, the popular ones. The Okay, uh, no, that's helpful. That's... Yeah, the, just the, the, the sort of probably, you know, you go how to write a screenplay, you look on Amazon, they're the popular ones. I, I, I don't know any of the more outliers. I just, uh, th- there's some good books out there on how to structure a screenplay. Um, I think one is called screenplay. I think one is called story, maybe. Story. Oh, yes. Yes, see. 
Ironically, they're sitting on the desk. On oh, open. let's see. Let's sit, let's sit. Oh, they're sitting on the desk like a in the other room. Oh, so oh, okay. Save the cat. Yes, I've heard of that one too. Save the cat. That's a really lovely one. Okay. Um, that's a good one. Thank you. Thank you, Gerald. That's great. Anybody else have any? Uh, Sid. That's it. Sid Field. That's the one. Melania. Boom. That's it. So the Sid Sid Field. Uh, you can sit in the chat, uh, Richard. Okay, that's to, what that's what I was trying to think of. Sidfield. It, that's McKee, in the other room. Robert okay. McKee, Sidfield, and the Save the Cat that Gerald brought up. Those are those are three great ones. And basically, nothing's going to be damaging by reading. If you look at it, you don't like it. You don't like it. That's it. Move on. It Go back on to outlining. It, it depends on how you take information. You know, I I think these are, all these books are helpful. They're all about, I think, Hollywood screenplays, you know, that kind of thing. So it's all that basic structural stuff, which I think is super helpful, you know? Um, oh, someone, Timothy says there's a book called Aristotle's uh, uh, Poetics. Is that Poetics, Timothy? Yep, that's also, that's also helpful. It's kind of old. Well, I'm, I'm kind of old. You know, <laughs> I think it's older than you, Richard. Aristotle, he old. Oh! way back there but that's good yeah and that talks about how character is uh what we do and that's super helpful if you're writing a screenplay play whatever right screenplay is okay. what we but, do but but you know but those are great yes yes oh steven pressfield yes yes thank you gerald yeah uh Going pro is that the War of Art? That's the Stephen Pressfield one. The War of Art. That's a lovely one. It's kind of not a how-to. It's more of a kind of you know, inspirational sort of book. Yeah, those are great ones. Great. Th thanks. Um, outlining is amazing. See? And rewrite. Just rewrite. Just work on ten pages at a time. That's it. Um, Thank, thank you so much. It's um, so much. changed my life. Oh, Seriously. Yay. For the better, we hope. <laughs> no. Okay, I, I think oh, yes. Nah, we'll give it a yes. We'll yeah, give that a yes. Go. There you go, Richard. Thank you so much, man. Thank, thank you. you. Melania, you're on deck. Hello, Susan. Hey, hon. Hey. How are you? Fine. I have a question about, I am doing two things. One yeah. is the thing that we talk about the novel and the synopsis. I am, I did my schedule for two weeks. I am okay. working on that. I am, good. I am working good in there. And there is another thing that is a, is a workshop that I am taking. It's a, it's a playwriting workshop. Okay. Fine. Um, and I, it's very, it's very specific. So they give me some exercises, and I have to do the work scenes usually. Right. And very, um, last time that I did one, it was very well received by the the teacher. Okay, he was very happy. And my question is this: because I am trying to be to respect the opinions of others. And at, but at the same time, being free myself oh. in order right. to express myself. So I don't know how to navigate this, the notes and the opinions of others and my work, my own voice. What kind of, I am thinking if you can guide me in some kind of exercises, maybe affirmations or whatever it is that is good to really be able to listen to myself and trust my work beyond the opinions of others. In this case, this professor, it was very nice. And I love when I read what he mentioned. It was very nice. But at the same time, when I have these good words, I feel this pressure that make me feel stuck, that I, mm -hmm. it's tough to continue, but I do everything we talk about here. So I mm -hmm. write anyway. Good, 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 good. Good, good, good. I don't know how to, because I want to do, I love my my work to be something that I do by myself, but at the same time, it's a bridge to connect to other people, to be in community. I really believe in theater as that, mm -hmm. as a way of mm -hmm. being together through mm -hmm. art. 
but sometimes the opinions of others that are sometimes they're very nice, they get into me like pressure. And I don't know but what- Pressure like to take their notes? Pressure like to maybe to keep the level, you know, like keep the, the standard that maybe when I do something that they believe is good, I say, well, okay, I am thinking how I am going to keep this working. Oh. And, and that, what happens to me is that that stops my, stops my creative process process because right, I am right, not thinking right. about my work. I am thinking about what are they going to say about what me. What are they going to say about this one? And, and will it, yeah. um, correct me if I'm, I just want to make sure I'm hearing you correctly. So if you, you, you've given work to a teacher, you get yeah. really helpful feedback yeah. and, and it's really positive feedback and yeah. it's really encouraging feedback. Mm -hmm. And yet it, it's, it kind of stops you because you, now you're under pressure to uh, wondering if the next piece you give them will be uh, received with the same enthusiasm from yes. them. Is that or, correct? Or some, yes, or sometimes it's like I need to go even further. Sure, sure, yeah. sure. Yeah, Tennessee Williams, I think, called that the tragedy of success. <laughs> okay. Okay, so darn. So, you know, sometimes we wonder, oh, gee, what will happen if I send my work out there and nobody likes it? Mm -hmm. And your question is, what happens if I send my work out there and they like it. They don't like it as much as they liked it last time because last time they really loved it. And this time they, they you know, um, uh, yeah, I would, I would say, uh, you know, it, it's, it's, it's tricky because you, you want to just keep writing and the more yeah. years we put into it, um, y you know, if, if we're always trying to get to that mark, Sometimes we write works that are better than last time, but they're not received as, as enthusiastically, you know? So you just have to keep talking to yourself and just say, telling yourself that, you know, my work's worth it. My work's beautiful. I'm writing for, you know, to honor these voices in my head, in my heart, in my community. Um, sometimes they'll be received with enthusiasm and sometimes they'll be, uh, you know, who knows? Do you, you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's tricky. It's tricky because you want to, yeah, you want your professor to, to, um, and you don't want them to go, oh, now this isn't as good. So I don't, I don't respect Melania as much, but that's not going to happen if they're, if they're worth, if, if they're a really good professor, you know? That's true. No, yes. And this is a good professor. Sometimes I feel because yeah. I, I love, I love studying. So right. I, I like doing workshops and these things, but after a while, when I am in the middle of it, I say, I don't know if this was a good idea because I, I become very dependent of the opinion on the opinion. Right. And I don't like that. But at the same time, I like to have the notes because, you know, it, it's good to learn and to grow, to grow in my writing. But right. it's difficult to me to evaluate how to know by myself when I am doing well or not. And even, I don't know if it, that those are the words, like well, wrong, yeah, or right. Yeah. That, it's that's, a creative process. That's a skill that you're gonna have to develop and probably gonna have to develop it by not seeking out feedback every time you think you need it. Hmm. You know what I mean? It's like when you, when you I don't know if you, you, you know, you, 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 you get dressed, you put on a, a dress and, you should be or an outfit you know and you should be able to tell yourself if you look okay and if you have to run to you know this person and that person this person then call a friend and take a selfie and you know you just if you have to get out the door I can't I can't get out the door until I've asked 20 friends how I look you know you don't want to you know what I mean you want to develop the ability to go I look good I feel good in this and I like the way I look I'm going out the door you know, you want to develop that. And sometimes that might mean not, you know, I mean, not taking as many workshops or really working to develop your own sense of how your work is, is landing within you. Mm. Um, I like that. Um, so, so yeah, try, you know, maybe before you, maybe if you write a piece and you have to hand in something every week or before you hand in your work, you read your work and you give yourself, start giving yourself notes. How do I think this is landing? What do I think of my work? 
how am I feeling about my work? You know, maybe write yourself out some notes. Okay. Yourself, you know, so you're starting to create a good feedback loop for yourself. That could be helpful. So you're developing that muscle in yourself. Yes, I you want know? that. Yeah, yeah, that could help. Okay, I'm going to do that. Thank okay. you. Okay. okay, you're welcome. You're welcome, hon. Thank you, Melania. Uh, we have about five minutes left. Five minutes. Yeah, do folks have more questions? We're also good sitting in silence. <laughs> Looks like we have one. Oh, it's Crystal. <laughs> hey, Crystal. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm good. Good to see you, sis. How you doing? You. I'm doing all right. Not too bad. I'm doing all right. Um, you said something earlier about um, character, um, about characters, or I guess seeing the character of a person through actions. Mm -hmm. so um I'm trying to I'm in the very very beginning of just conjuring up the idea of a, of a, of a new play mm -hmm. and um it's a, a two-person play two two women mm -hmm. it's uh a therapist and and a, a patient mm -hmm. and uh it's like a I guess a th th thriller kind of feel because it's uh -huh. more about like it becomes a hostage situation and um it, it's very outside of what I write it's just I don't know I, I was like what can I write that's not like what I've written and this uh -huh. came up and uh -huh. I think my 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 conflict I think is the approach of writing with like is it character driven or is it story driven right you know and like or plot driven and either way I don't really know um well which one is which one is better or is it just different um because what when you said that it was it was very it was like oh yeah that's true like you do <laughs> kind of measure god bless you a measure a person <laughs> um by what they do um but is that like I feel like it's a question, a one-on-one -on -one question, but is it like, is that, is that what makes a story or does the plot make the story or? What, okay, good, good questions. Is, does the character make the story or the plot make the story? What's the difference? Does it make a difference? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> right. So, I mean, I mean, I think the character makes the plot, plot makes the character. It's all one thing, you know, it's all connected. You know, the Hamlet, does Hamlet make the Hamlet, the character, the guy who's trying to decide what to do about his recently de dead, deceased dad. Uh, you know, he can't make up his mind. I suppose him not being able to make up his mind or thinking things a lot about things a lot might make the story, but also the circumstances make the story. It's all one. It's story is a is is made up of of you know moments, character moments. You know what I mean? It's 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 connected. It's connected. I don't think it's I don't think it's helpful to sort of separate them, although I know people do. It yeah. hasn't helped it hasn't helped me particularly. Character moments. You know? Yeah, I've I've always heard it as as separate as like, you know, you're either a, a plot driven writer or a character driven writer. But I'm like, but ultimately, maybe I mean, you think of uh, or Die Hard. I forget the guy's name. Bruce Willis, Not the actor. Yeah, but the the character. Okay, so you know, I mean, so is that a plot driven story movie or is that a is that a character driven movie? I mean, I don't know. It's a huh. cool story about a dude who's doing shit. I, I don't know. And I'm, I'm sure that people have answers to those questions. I don't know if they're necessarily helpful to what you're working on right now. Right. What's your character doing? What are they doing right now? What are they, you know? Right. And what I think. Happened? What do they do next? 
Then yeah. what happens? Right. Yes. Maybe that's plot. Maybe it's character. Maybe it's character action. You know, plot, character, action. It's, to me, it's, it's, you know. Yeah. I'm sure it's a worthy conversation. It's not a conversation that helps me write anything. So, but other people I'm sure have profited from it greatly. I think so. <laughs> you know, I'm just like, what are your characters doing? Mm -hmm. Cinderella, is that a plot? story or a character story i don't know right yeah yeah you okay. know people people make distinctions and or i think they're trying to be trying to find clarity um if it helps them mm -hmm. doesn't so do i just write it yeah <laughs> Character doing? What are they doing right now? What are they doing five minutes from now? What do they want? What are right. they going to do to get it? Right. Bruce okay. Willis' character. What does he want? Want to go home for Christmas? Something like that. I don't know. Okay. Well, he's got a whole thing called Die Hard to get through. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, and I—that's I, as much about the film as I know. So there you go. <laughs> right. Got it. Okay. 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 Yeah. Yeah. That's helpful. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> thanks. So thank you so much. Um, thanks everybody for all of your questions. We're right at time. Um, so it was lovely to have you all in the space. Um, and we'll be doing it again same yeah. time next week. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Lolly. Thank you. Thank you all for showing up. Thank have you. a great